me apologize if it came across that way because I it's actually, not no apologies necessary. That just shows you where we are in the community. Right, but what I what, what I'm saying is there are times there's though. No obviously, there's men out there that treat their women good. I know several. I know several men who celebrate their wives and they're good men. So I wasn't asking that question because I think I thought that's a no brainer. If you're with a man that is treating you good and you can build with, of course you be with him. But there are times when women are dealing with men who are bringing them more sorrow than happiness. And I was just wondering if you think being a single woman in that predicament would be better off than being with the man who might be bringing you drama. That's all I was simply just trying to ask that question. There's three types of men. There's a man that treats you good. All right, no, 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 no. See, this is what we do too often. We do this too often, acting as though women don't have accountability and consequences in the men they cheat. No, man. Okay, I'll let you go on for 30 seconds. And you say a man should be celebrating. I don't know why black women come in and talk about men should be celebrated. You're supposed to celebrate the man. He's not supposed to celebrate you. What, what other race of women runs around talking about that men need to celebrate them? What are we celebrating? What? Who's on top? Who leads? Well, Kevin, okay, Who's please. Who's on top? Who leads? Um, I, I, I do say that, yes, the man leads, but I have to just speak for the men that I know that are happily married. They celebrate their wives. They do. All right. Okay. But um, listen. Okay, so, okay, man, but who, okay. This notion is toxic to come into this toxic to realize. Yes, it is. Because it keeps you, it keeps women with this overinflated stuff that they need to be celebrated to where asking women do I yesterday I had a woman on Instagram thinking that being a traditional housewife was tantamount out slavery just because she had to actually cook a damn meal. I saw that. So uh that's a woman that shares your reflection. How? She's black. Oh so it's my reflection. Okay. So just yes. So my notion the, the notion the way so many women talk is though you're some like you're some sort of God or deity that's supposed to be celebrated. The way we do it over here is men of value lead. Women of women of value follow them. You celebrate your man. You praise your man. What y'all do on your side is good for you. Hope it works for you. But more people on this side are winning. More people on that side got opinions and no husbands. Especially no husbands they value. So you talk about Russell Wilson. I don't know many men on this side that respect Russell Wilson. Not no. because he married a woman with a child. It's because he's a simp. Why is he a simp? Why is he a simp? Uh, because... That's an entire program. And here's the thing. How about this? Because the men say he is. Well, okay, as a female that I want to send. Because if there's a man... Well, then go ahead. Then you, so, so, so you want to have a... So, again, and thank you guys. Listen to what she said. She wants, mean, to she wants to send. She wants to send. She wants to send. Because, because a, man, a man like Russell Wilson who puts Sierra on a pedestal, pedestalizing a woman is... I said this three weeks ago. Show me a culture or a race of competitive people where the women were pedestalized above the men and show me a competitive civilization. You don't. Men's purpose needs to be pedestalized, not the female. It doesn't mean that the one... See, this is a problem. So many women in the black community want to be sitting up like this queen and if a man is sitting up there looking at you, he cannot fight everybody else, compete with everybody else and defend the world. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. And that's why so many women, black women, are by themselves because they, if they can't be treated like the queens that they think they are, then they'd rather have nothing. And no one's going to stop you. Because if it ain't, because the problem ain't black men. It ain't black men because ain't no man marrying you. When it says one out of four black women were married, that means anybody. So your career, your job, your accomplishments, whatever is walking around making you feel great and wonderful about yourself, that works well until you're about 55 or 60. Then what? What's about the rest of life? Um, are you just asking me that direct question? The, the point, the ultimate uh, point is we get nowhere when we have women hmm. who still think they should be celebrated ahead of the men. Well, I think they should celebrate each other. I and mean, well, Maybe we have who to... Who should be celebrated? And who, should be, who should lead? I don't, I don't mind the man being the head of the household. What do you mean you don't mind? <laughs> what? That was the wrong answer? Yes. <laughs> like, I think if a man... Okay, so who should throw the ball on... So who should... So who should... So who should handle the ball uh, on, on, on the offensive side of football? I don't mind the quarterback handling. Who should throw the pass? I don't mind the quarterback. Or is that the quarterback's job? Okay, I thought I, I thought I was giving you the... I, 
I think we're giving the same answer. I'm going with this chick right here. No, that's not the same answer, lady. That's not. That's coming from a place that you of this independent, I don't need a man mentality. I don't need you, so I would, you know, I don't mind allowing you to do that. That's what that is. That's that sunning shit. That's that sunning stuff. There ain't no respect. Not at all. And it's you not agreeing and not understanding the, the, the social construct that we live in. It's like, come on, lady. And you wonder why. Well, the women I know, the men I know, they put them on the pedestal when they marry. Is, uh, is anybody pedestaling you, huh? You ain't up there. You ain't up there. And you're giving good reasons why you shouldn't be up there. So you're going to be spectating, watching a lot of people do some things that you ain't going to do because you're not doing the things to get there, honey. Like, come on. You're talking about hope and well, I don't want women to feel hopeless. They ain't got to feel hopeless. They're getting information on what to do. How about they do it? But no, this is just because stuff. Like he said, how can we protect and provide you and defend you and defend this world if we're looking up at you at the same time? And if our purpose is to do all of these things, that purpose is our total quality of life. How isn't that higher than you or I? And that's not belittling you. It's called priority. And one thing a lot of women hate, if, if they're not priority number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But then y'all want something. Like, come on. Come on, ladies. I'm going to let this go for a little bit longer. We're getting, we're getting a little long on the video. We're going to see if she has something valuable to say. But I'm about done with this chick. Oh, we're not. We're not because I don't mind. See, it doesn't matter if you mind or not. It's what it should be. Okay, so the man leaves the household. I don't feel like the female can't have an opinion on anything. Well, she can. She's, and I, and I, she's value counsel. And I, and I do think the man should be celebrated, but I also think, and I've witnessed it, men who hold their wives to high value and uh, will do anything to protect her and, and will say that they will not be the man they are without that particular woman. I had men, high value men that you call high value men, say things like that. So I know what so you're What do women say about their men? Say again? What do women say about their men? Oh, they love them. They appreciate them. They think that they're their king. So it goes both ways. They're, they're celebrating each other. I don't think that's a bad thing. Okay. Listen, I appreciate you bringing me on your show. We're going to agree to disagree on a couple of things. Like well, I said, Friday we Sunday. We can know what, what one way works and one way does. Well, I mean, I will say this. Maybe, what, 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 then maybe I live in some exceptions to the rules because I'm just speaking on the things that yeah, I you do. do. One in four black women will marry. You do. And I, I don't know where you, where you, where you, if you, I don't know, if you just look at my show Monday through Friday, that, that's the world. Okay, well, Kevin, can I just say this one thing? I feel like you do give good advice, but sometimes when the women come up here, you make them feel hopeless because there's certain things they can't no, do. No, I don't make you feel anything. You're responsible for your own feelings. I'm okay, gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll, 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 I will take that back. I will retract that. But I will say if a woman has, I don't have any kids, but if a woman has children and if she's a certain age and you feel like there's no man out there for her, then what uh, is she uh, so if I, if I tell a woman what the, the, the statistics are and what the men, that, and, and if I tell you what the men are saying, see, what you don't seem to realize is if I had a drone follow me every day when I go out into Atlanta or around this country, how many men are coming, say, from, from high school to on Walker saying thank you. Thank you for telling the truth. Thank you for saying what I can't say every day. Dozens of men. Can I take a picture with you? Thank you for telling the truth. I wish, I'm so glad. So it ain't what Kevin is saying. And see, the problem is 
so many women are focusing on the messenger, the tone or whatever, you're losing the fact that you're finally getting some accurate information that ain't telling you don't forget your crown, you're a queen and all this other kind of stuff because all those people want to sell your books, sell your dream. When you talk about leaving hopeless, I think many women who bought this bullshit that these men have been selling and, and then turn around and find out they're cheap just like everybody else and, and ain't the men they say, then they should feel hopeless. At least I'm telling you two plus two is four. Make a decision what you want, two, two or four. Okay, well that okay. First of all, you're absolutely right. I know Woo! plenty of men that that speak your praises. Um, like I even said, there's things that you have said that I have agreed with, and things that I know high value is a thing with money. Men with money will tell me certain things that you do tell the people on your platform. So I'm not disagreeing with you there. If there's any disagreement that I would ever have, it's just the accord of women if they don't. They, they can't get married in their 40s. Or they're they're said they couldn't get married. I didn't say they couldn't get married. What, okay. I say is, what I say is, you have to pick a... First of all, you're not going to keep... I hate when you ladies do this. You oversimplify what I say and then expect me to actually hold that. When have I told a woman that she can't get married? Well, I, I know you have this thing called the danger zone. And you what does that mean? Wants you. What does that mean? The danger zone is she's in a certain age bracket, like if, if, if she has kids, if she's overweight, and if she's a certain age, you have... So, you did, so, you dis women, no so uh, Kendra, you huh? disproven that you don't know what I talk about. That's okay, not what the danger zone mom, means. So, me. so, so, no, so, 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 this is what I mean. You're a professional woman, and you're in what you're in media too, right? You don't know I have to, yes, I am. And you watch my show. I, I define do. the danger zone countless times and you still were saying something that ain't the danger zone is the years between 27 and 35 okay i okay well this is what i'm saying that's not I, it okay 27 to 35 when a woman needs to really focus like a laser on the outcome she wants if you want to be married with children you need to focus like a laser because after age 30 by 35, you hit what's geriatric pregnancy. That's not Kevin. That's nature. That's biology. See, what so many what happens so often is you ladies get triggered. You think you hear what I say. You're going to try to make the danger zone be all that stuff, and it was none of that stuff. Okay, You're going to well, try to say, well, you tell a woman that they're this and they're that, and I never say, I don't say that. Okay. Ma'am, you'll be able to go back. I'm gonna. This is going to be up. You'll be able to hear what you said. And the fact of the matter is, I don't tell women that they can't. I tell them it's unlikely, depending upon their particular situation. And yes, let me reiterate. If you are a woman over 35, overweight and with children, it is highly unlikely that you're going to find a man making six figures plus who wants to marry you. Because those men want something in return, too. And they typically don't want somebody else's children. Now, is that meaning them hopeless? No, what it's telling them is you've made your choice to allow yourself to reproduce one, two times with or without the benefit of a husband, most of the times without. You've allowed yourself to become the physical shape you are. That's your responsibility. It is not this man's responsibility to lower his standards, settle, when he's had to work to become this, this thing. No one gave him this. He deserved to get something from this. But see, we're so busy trying to tell women that they should be celebrated that we forget to think about what about your men? We need to start celebrating men, black men, and forget the black men. What about the boys? Fuck the men. What are you doing with the boys? All these women with children, what are you doing with your boys? Black boys reading at a fourth grade level. Black boys are behind. Forget us. You don't have to like us. But what are you doing with your boys sitting next to your daughters? And more often than not, women are telling their daughters, get an education, do this, that, and so forth. And they're making their sons punks, putting them in Jordans and pink shirts and making them son husbands. And they are raising the same men that you ladies complain about. Prioritizing sooner or later this old nasty old bad old patriarchy, you're going to have to realize that it's the one thing that's made this world evolve. Okay. Can I, I know we, I know we probably have to go to somebody else, but there's just one more thing. We gonna I, end it right there. She, can, I mean, I don't want to hear a pander anymore. I had to let that gospel just, just ride on out, ride on out, Pastor. You preaching the word, Amen, Walls. So, final thoughts, final thoughts. Um, this lady, you know, is uh, very, very delusional. Um, she has an answer for everything. 
uh, it's part of the thing he keeps, he always say, you know, high value men look for women that's cooperative. Um, and she's showing why she doesn't have a man. And she has a reason for, she has an answer for everything. And she, even, even, even in her, even, even in her, like, I guess her state of delusion, under the results of her life of not having a man, she actually has reasonings for that. You know, and have examples of how that she will have it because she got a friend that's forty one that's having a child and is about to get married. So she can do that stuff. I can do it. It's by choice. I had a man that proposed to me eight months ago, and I wanted to be happily married. So I was just wasting his time because I felt that he wasn't gonna make me happy, and I was just you know slapping some skins, having some sex, wasting time, just trying to see if I still got it at forty one. And how can you say, when he asked you, do you believe women are receiving good information about life, good advice about life? And you say no, and, and, and you agree, you say yes, that they, that, they, that, they, that they do not. But you keep on having a rebuttal to everything. You keep saying with your words that, you know, I agree with some of the stuff that you say. I ain't, I don't know what you agreeing on. You just say it so you can say but. You just say it so you can say but. And that's the thing with a lot of you ladies. It's like an interrogation room being with you guys. It's like, and, and, and that's speaking to the fact that he's saying, you don't deal with us in good faith. Or we wouldn't be on trial every damn day. We wouldn't be on trial. Trying to prove our worth to you. Well, you don't want to be traditional, but I'm out here actually working every day to be traditional, actually doing it. We're putting you on a pedestal just because. Just because. And how dare we ask for something in return or say, you know what? Hey, um, if this particular woman does it, this over this age or over this size, you may not have the same Luck as a different woman. Oh, that's giving where it's saying women is that's 40 or overweight or have kids, it's hopeless. Don't do that. We have to be truthful. They have to be truthful. Stop it. I don't mind if he lead. You don't mind the president leading now, huh? But like shit is stupid as hell. Like quit it. And once you change that mentality, you may finally get that knight shining on. 